isn't that exactly what so many of us want and we're just not getting any closer the way we're living. Hello, here's the thing, I'm Juice. Here's the second thing. On my path to self-improvement, um, I feel there's some unresolved business. And also I'm holding my mic this way because I feel like it. So about a week ago, I found this video. I think it's called How a Dopamine Detox Saved My Life. I recognized the term and did some research and this is what I figured out. I, out the holding this microphone is so distracting to what I want to say. I have become desensitized to receiving dopamine from moments that are not highly stimulating. I explain it in a non-scientific statement as I've built a tolerance to what stimulates dopamine to me. And in my interpretation, this is due to my consumer behavior of digital entertainment and constantly distracting myself from the stillness of the present. And as perhaps some of you watching, I am personally working towards honing that stillness and presence in my life. So here's what I decided to do. This is my plan. For the first two days, I'm not going to watch a video or film, listen to podcasts or music, or spend time on social media frying my brain. I'm still working, eating, and reading. Let's see how day one turns out. <sighs> Just really craving that. I'm definitely still gonna clean, so that's gonna be my main task right now. It's just hard to do this without entertainment, but I do feel that I'm a lot more present and realizing once more how simple it actually is to be present and just still in the moment. Simple but not easy. Um, yeah, gonna, gonna report back later. I feel quite restless right now. Um, I decided that I can read today, clean and work, but still like I don't feel like doing those things because my dopamine tolerance is higher than that. You know, like <sighs> just really craving that entertainment right now. And this just shows how restless my mind is. This is what I struggle with a lot. I catch myself distracting um, from the moment so I don't deal with this restlessness <sighs> which I really hope that this um, detox helps me with that and that that actually is one of the problems I have I'm gonna get through this I think vlogging it is a bit easier because it like allows me to talk about something but also I'm gonna turn to my journal now um, and continue cleaning which it don't feel like doing at all. He is like salad. Yeah. Um, recipes or something. I'm... Oh. 
I'm just watching my... No, I'm not. I just accidentally saw that my neighbors are sitting outside enjoying the sun and drinking some orange juice. So I'm drinking some orange juice. Um, but I actually have a, another meeting with Nay over FaceTime right now. So I'm gonna do that. And instead of listening to music, I started singing. So, um, yeah, let's go. First of all, we cannot even really figure out what else we want. Second of all, I think the other ones are so immersive. I want them to shine. Okay, don't ask me why I'm cooking at 10.30, but I'm currently finding new activities for the evening because usually I watch Netflix and YouTube videos. So I have brought my book here on my Kindle and my bullet journal and I just made myself a little cozy table and I'm gonna eat and journal and just chill in silence so and I'm fucking tired we're back in the future and look how long my hair is what is going on after day one I already felt different uh, I felt more calm and definitely more present even after doing an entire intense dopamine detox which stay tuned for that video i still am not sure when it's appropriate to go on instagram but i decided to just fucking start somewhere and set some boundaries to begin with and maybe this is gonna help you so to me knowing when i'm most productive during the day has helped me majorly with this for me that's in the morning from 8 30 to 11. So I decided 11 is when I usually start cooking. That's when I stop working for about one to two hours. That's when I allow myself to use my phone, watch videos. I dedicate an entire hour to not working after my meals and I read in that time. So that is also no digital entertainment. That starts at six. And that's basically what I'm trying out right now. I'm gonna get back to this, I think, in my dopamine detox video because I'm gonna have time to reflect on how I feel a week after that. I didn't really set a boundary yet, but I usually go to bed at like 10 or 11, so that's when I stop. Let's hop on to day two. It's day two, and I'm wearing the same sweater. So, let's go. Oh my fuck. Okay, let's continue. Got back from the forest. I took a shower. I was kind of itchy. I didn't know it's already mosquito season. Today I felt, I can't explain it. It felt like things were unresolved and I felt um, unsettled. At the same time, a bit bored and also stressed. I just needed a little space around me and to feel nature. I hope that after this detox, 
I get to nature faster and that it isn't something I have to get myself to do but that it is something that really pulls me towards it because nature truly is a huge source of calmness to me and inspiration but I feel because I've been so distracted and because I've been distracting myself with so many things that aren't nature, I always kind of lose that connection. So I think the purpose of these two days, um, kind of warming up to the detox, are very helpful. This is how I aspire most of my days to look. Not feeling bored um, and not feeling unsettled, but having time and space um, and awareness and presence to deal with those things. So I do feel peaceful in the moment because isn't that exactly what so many of us want and we're just not getting any closer the way we're living. I am starting to get excited to read again. Um, I think it also really depends on what you read, but just even reading different books. And I've had these books for a couple of weeks now, even months. I mean, the potential for excitement was there. And also, um, I'm really craving to pick up learning Japanese again. I had a brief start with it. I took um, some Japanese classes in school, but I stopped because <laughs> everything was just too much. Dug out my books, AKA I took them out of my box over there. Um, so let's see where this leads. We're at the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I don't really know what this vlog was supposed to be because originally I just wanted to document two days before my dopamine detox. Like I just started filming and then I was like, let's make an entire vlog out of it and give it some narrative. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Um, oh, that was my leg. If you haven't heard, my necklace that I created with Anna Luisa is restocked. It's the perfect Mother Day, Mother's Day present, but also it's a perfect present for yourself. I don't know if you can hear my dog right now. He's trying to get my attention, but subscribe if you like this video and tell me in the comments below, did you like this format or was it weird? Like, would you have preferred just to have the vlog with music or did you like that I kind of spoke about my experience? I don't know. I'm gonna see you in my dopamine detox video, which is intense, so bye. Okay, now let's give bourbon some attention. This is the blood body. This bourbon, I don't know like what he's looking for. Uh, this has resulted in bourbon and we're just chilling. Straight up chilling. Please subscribe.